Hey guys, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. This is a video of the okra flowers. Sorry, I just had to big old bee flying around back here. But a uh, ton of pollinators out this morning, and butterflies, frogs, and uh, lizards, and they're all checking this stuff out. And uh, when these flowers fully open, they're beautiful. And uh, I'll see if I can't get them in the sunlight a little bit. And that's a really dark purple today. Usually they're nowhere near like that. But uh, I'll try to get some insects and stuff in here for you guys to see. Here's some wildlife. We got a pollinator right there. He's doing his job. There's about seven flowers that have opened up this morning there's not too much ochre because i harvested it all yesterday but you can just see these flowers how awesome looking they are and they look even better when they're fully open but uh here we go guys we have a little tree frog guy hanging out He's probably waiting to snatch some of these pollinators up. And it's nice and wet out here, so he's happy. And there's also a ton of lizards. And, uh, maybe there's some okra right there. And the flowers on it also. And some buds behind it. And I harvested a lot. Yesterday, I had a nice harvest of okra yesterday, and today's okra is yesterday's flowers. That's how it works. There's that bee again. I'll show you guys some of these flowers. I'm trying to go slow because this phone shakes a lot in my hand. But, uh, there's a few more flowers that have opened up, and the okra's right here on them, which isn't very big today. But, uh, and here's the, these things kind of stress out like pepper plants, and they get these red spots on the joints, right where the, the branch connects to the leaf of the plant. And you can kind of see it. Not really too much sun out this morning. And I've got so many of these lizards out here. They're everywhere. And that's really good to see because some of my plants have some holes in them. And that's from caterpillars and... I hate picking the caterpillars off, and I don't like using insecticides. I'd rather have all organic crops. And I don't usually even fertilize these plants very often without with um, man-made fertilizers. I usually try to use organic stuff. But uh, these guys are just everywhere out here. And they're good to see. I like seeing the little ones because... They just like eating everything up because they're young. It's a different species of lizard. This is like a alligator type lizard we call them here in Florida. And uh, they'll have big old ridges and fins on their back as well. He's chilling right next to these raspberries that uh, I put in this year. And these things fight like crazy. But uh. They're awesome to have in the garden. He's just hanging out. He's not scared at all. Here's another type of lizard. I'm not sure what these are. What species these are. But they just love hanging out.
There's so many of these lizards everywhere that I can't stop and record them all. I was hoping to catch some of these awesome looking orange and red butterflies that are in here. Uh, I got a video of some earlier, but I was hoping to catch all these different wildlife out here in the garden together. And I just saw a wizard snatch a stink bug right off of one of my zinnias, which is great to see. Those things are a nuisance. They like getting up in my sunflowers and... There will be a bunch of them on my sunflowers, like a whole colony of them. And uh, that sucks because it makes me not want to, excuse my language too, it makes me not want to be able to trim and uh, harvest any of the sunflowers while they're ready to. This is what I've been waiting to get in my videos. These butterflies. These things are cool and they love these zinnias. He's gone. Oh, he's coming back. He's waiting on me to leave. Here's a different species, sorry, of a uh, butterfly. These things come here every morning, and usually they come in at least two at a time and these guys are the first ones to come and then I'll see a couple other different species come and I get some pretty big butterflies back here they're not monarchs but uh some are monarchs but uh some are the big yellow ones and the other ones are the blackish ones with the white in them maybe the scarlet I think it's great to see these guys everywhere in here and uh, they help keep my garden looking good and it's good to have them. They love these uh, zinnias. Here we go guys. I really like seeing these because you got to search for them. But uh, here's a little baby tree frog. and That's not the normal ones we get here in Florida. I think that's a new type of invasive species of tree frog and that guy's just awesome and he'll eat everything he can out here I've seen these guys snatch up bees and basically anything they can get a hold of and I'll see if I can't get a little better view of them Speaking of wildlife, there's a squirrel up there. He's running down the fence. Usually my dogs would be chasing him down by now. Yesterday morning, a uh, hummingbird crossed paths with me. We were walking through here and we almost flew. He almost flew right into me and I almost walked right into him. There we go. This is Bumblebee. They love these peppers, uh, flowers. He's just been going off and on all these different plants all day, going from flower to flower. There's a little baby lizard.
and I'll see if the hawk won't make his appearance this morning. We got a couple red tail hawks that like hanging right up above these trees over here. There's a wasp. I don't want to get too close to this guy. He's crazy looking. But uh, these these flowers on these peppers, there's so many of them. No, uh, there go, there he goes. But uh, the flowers on these peppers, they just draw every kind of wasp, bee, hornet. I'll have the the killer Japanese or Asian hornets out here. And they just draw in every species of pollinator you can think of, and in return, wow! I just saw a. An amazing dragonfly species I've never even seen before. It looked as skinny as, a t like it was crazy looking. I'll see if I can't get them on video, guys. But uh, these flowers are just all over the place. And I think that could be one of the reasons why my garden is doing so good because of all these pollinators that come in. But when I had the sunflowers in here, I had uh, so many pollinators. I mean, it was unreal. And I'm gonna, I've got some more sunflowers coming in now. And these could be a hybrid species between the the Russian mammoth, the gray sunstripe, and the chocolate cherry sunflowers. These are just starting to come in. They're a couple months old now. They should be a little bigger than this. I don't know if it's the time of season or what. But the ones I grew uh, on the side of the house got a lot bigger than this a lot quicker. This guy's thinking about eating some of these uh, ants over here. Looks like he's hungry. He wants some breakfast this morning. These things, I guess, ooh, it's taking off. All right. Cool to have around. And there's the red tail hawk I was telling you guys about. He's over there on the ground. I'm going to try to zoom in on him. He's just sitting there right now. I don't know why he landed. He must have, there he goes. Get a little closer to him. He's watching me right now. He just turned his head, but he can still see me perfect. He's got eyes like a hawk, guys. This is out front. I'm trying to zoom in on him. I'll just walk up on him. My zoom's not working right now for some reason. But this is right in my neighbor. There he goes. I don't know where he went. Oops, sorry about the shaky camera. I was trying to zoom in on him. There he is. He's sitting on uh, my neighbor's tree. Just sitting there. Um, where do you go? There he is. Let's see if I can't get him in a little better. And a lot of times you'll see these guys uh, come in and little mockingbirds will be, uh, oh we got something, there he goes, off into the woods, that was cool. This is kind of zoomed in, but uh, my cat's sitting here out front and She's a small, tiny little cat. She's just zoomed in on, so that hawk tried to cross the street from her, and they come here every morning, and about a month ago, maybe a little more, I had my cat go missing, one of my cats, and my neighbor had his cat go missing, a cat that we gave him, and uh, we don't know what took it. I'm hoping it's not one of those hawks, so...
the ecosystems here in Florida are so amazing that uh, this is the one of the only places in the world uh, and the only place in the United States that's a subtropical climate. And it's one of the only places in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist in the same river. But uh, we've got so many different bird species, owl, foxes, black bear, Florida panther, alligator, alligator snapping turtles. I mean, amazing fish species. I love living here and I love the animals here. And uh, we usually got cardinals and blue jays out here in the garden early in the morning. And they'll come in in pairs looking for seeds on the ground. And I've had a real hard time with the squirrels out here i'll plant corn and sunflower seeds and literally 30 minutes later i'll come out there and there'll just be a hole they're such a a nuisance they're relentless they don't ever give up this guy's uh oh here we go he's like what's this guy saying doing his little throat thing still zoomed in I'm gonna zoom it out and we can't have a video without my dog Lily she wants to be out here with us and follow us around Sometimes if I drop a pepper on the ground, she'll pick it up and bring it to the door. And then there's my turtle Mortimer. Lily, leave him alone. Be nice. He's a Russian tortoise. And uh, the cool thing about having a garden is when I had lettuce and kale and stuff like that, I got to feed him from my own garden. Which is cool. He loves kale. And he'll eat a ton of kale and lettuce every day. Charlie, he's a beagle. He's a hunting dog, so I got to be really careful with him around the turtle be nice Charlie be nice buddy Lily's a red-nosed pit bull and I raised her from uh, her being a puppy I went off to the Ocala National Forest to go camping and her mama had puppies we came back and uh, I started taking care of her and I've had her ever since and she's a great dog I love this dog she'll do anything for me and they're good to have out here in the garden sometimes to protect from pests. And only bad thing about them is some of the birds don't want to land here because of uh, the dogs out here. Mortimer's trying to make a break for it, guys. I love this garden, and uh, <clears throat> I try to build something in it every day. This video is getting kind of long, but I'll show you guys the addition I made. <clears throat> Excuse me. The addition I made to my garden last night. I took some of my container peppers and I added them to my behind the fence garden area back there. And uh, I'll show you guys some of that back there. I've grown almost every species of vegetable this year. I've grown ornamental pumpkins, gourds, cucumbers. Cherokee wax beans, green beans, snap peas, potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, uh, watermelon. Now I'm growing peanuts. And uh, there's just a ton of vegetables still here. I've got a lot of red silly beans that I'll go over. With you guys in another video and right now i'm growing a bunch of different species of beans and there's a ton of uh gardening still to be done on this property there's several other gardens on this property but uh, i did what i can with what i have and some of these beds i've actually built are uh reclaimed material that people were throwing out or scrap wood i had so i got to build them for free which is awesome the only beds I bought were the, my two miracle grow raised gardening beds. And these are maybe a four and a half by five foot section. These two, they were about 75 bucks each. And I love these beds. These are my favorite beds. But uh, this bed right here, I pretty much built for free except for the sides of it. And Anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, God bless you. 
and uh, I'll be coming up with some new videos here shortly and I'll go over the rest of my garden with you guys and harvesting some sweet potatoes here soon and all right guys take it easy this is Lily and Jay guys this is Lily and Jay saying have a good day see you guys later killer hornet guys I had to continue this video and I'm glad I did that thing is scary don't want to get stung by one of those things